Flashing custom ROM on your device for the first time has ever been not hard but tricky and confusing at times. In this video I am going to show you how you can flash custom ROM on your Ream 5 Pro device. The method would be same for Ream 3 Pro as well. Before showing any method, I would like to clear that you can't flash custom ROM before you complete these steps. These are must-have prerequisites. First step is to unlock the bootloader of your device. You can search on YouTube for how to unlock bootloader of Ream 5 Pro. Note, unlocking bootloader will erase everything on your phone. Make sure to back up your important data. Second step is to install a custom recovery. Custom recovery will allow us to install custom ROM on our device. I am using Orange Fox Recovery, you can install TWRP too. The procedure will be the exact same. Note, root isn't mandatory for installing custom ROM, or for any step stated till now. The procedure which I will be showing in this video is after you have installed the custom recovery successfully. So make sure you have successfully completed the two steps. For the above two steps, search on YouTube and make sure to check the link in the description there I will be linking a helpful forum of XDA developer on how to unlock bootloader and install custom recovery. But you can always search on YouTube for the better understanding of the process. Download these two files, link will be in the description. These files may come in handy if our phone gets stuck in boot loop or shows an error like image or boot file destroyed. So, now let's get to the actual process of installing a custom ROM. Download the desired custom ROM file, which you want to flash. I am currently on new Santa ROM and I will be flashing Pixel Plus UI. Yeah, I am already on a custom ROM, but don't worry, the method for switching from Ream UI to custom ROM is the same. If you are using TWRP, the UI of recovery will be different, but the steps will be the exact same. If you have any queries, questions you can ask in comment section. Boot to recovery, here by recovery I meant the custom recovery, which you installed after unlocking the bootloader. There are two ways for booting up into recovery mode. First is to directly boot from the power menu, in advanced options. But the advanced power menu will not be there, if you are on Ream UI. So you have to follow this, to boot up your phone into fast boot mode, which is also known as bootloader. Switch off your phone, then hold the volume up button, the volume down button and the power button. Hold them for a few seconds, until your phone boots into fast boot, as shown in the video. Now you can navigate the options using volume up, volume down button. For selecting an option, click on power button. Now using volume buttons, navigate to recovery and press power button. Then your phone will boot up into recovery. Enter your lock screen password, and even after entering the right password it shows decryption failed. Remove lock screen password from the phone, by booting up the phone again. Now after you have entered into recovery mode, if you are also using the orange fox recovery in the first tab you will be shown your internal storage, and if you are on TWRP UI will be a little different. Go to wipe section, in orange fox it will be the third tab, and in TWRP the go to wipe, and then advance wipe. Then select first 5 and flash to wipe. Make sure you have selected first 5 only. Dial the cache, cache, system, vendor, data. After wiping, click on home button. Then in orange fox you will be at storage tab, and in TWRP you will be back at home again. Now for TWRP go to install, and select the ROM file. For orange fox just locate the file, and swipe to flash. If your ROM file is in pen drive, you can connect it using OTG. After connecting your OTG, go to reboot, and then reboot recovery, so that OTG's storage is accessible through recovery. Just select the ROM zip file and flash. Wait until it shows a done message. Do check out that your ROM is vanilla or gapps1. Vanilla means we have to flash gapps separately on our own. If your ROM is vanilla or you want to flash magisk2, then the order for flashing should be like this. First ROM, then gapps, then magisk. After you see a done MSG, click on back. Now in my case, my ROM already includes gapps. So I don't need to flash gapps. 
I want to root my phone, that's why I will be flashing magisk zip file. After all the installation process, don't reboot. Go to white, click on format data and type yes. In TWRP, go to white, format data, type yes. If you didn't format data, you may end up in a boot loop, your ROM may not boot. After formatting data, click on reboot system and that's it. Your ROM will finally boot up. First boot may take time longer than usual so have patience. If you are getting an error message like boot image destroyed, you have to flash the DB meta file using minimal ADB in fast boot. Just same as you flashed recover using that. Type this command fast boot flash meta meta.img. And you are not getting an error like this, but still your phone is booting up into recovery again and again, then flash that permissive zip file through recovery and reboot. Your phone will definitely boot up.